えー、皆様お待たせいたしました、えー、それではですね、えー、本日の、えー、チームアナウンス、えー、記者会見を行いたいと思います、えー、早速、えー、選手に対する要求というところ、えー、そしてあとは、えー、ファンに対してどういうふうな、えー、振る舞いでやっていくかというところミスをはじめ、えー、多くの選手たちで本当に、えー、自らリードしている非常にいい形になっていますはい、えー、国会さんお願いしますはい、ご覧くださいみな皆,皆さんこんにちは Um, Number 12, Nakamura. Number 13, Afaili. Number 14, Matsushima. Number 15, Yamanaka. Number 16, Sakate. 17, Nakajima. 18, Valu. 19, Vanderbilt. 20, Mafi. 21, Tanaka. 22, Matsuda.、Uh, 23, Mimeki.、Uh, so, just with our changes,、um, firstly,、uh, Tupo had HIA. Uh, last week against Scotland,、um, and he failed his、uh, medical protocols, so he was ruled out of selection.、Uh, what they did is promote Yamanaka into the starting 15 and Lemiki onto the bench. えー、まず、えー、メンバーの変更をするところですけれども、えー、トゥポが、えー、前回のスコットランド戦で HIA、えー、になりまして、えー、そこでメディカルの診断、えー、この結果、えー、通らなかったので、えー、今回はセレクションに、えー、入りませんでした、そして、えー、ということで山中がスターティング15番になり、えー、そして、えー、レメキがベンチに入りました。In favour of Heryu and 20, Muffy coming on to the bench in favour of Tui. I just feel that their,、um, their physicality、um, would be a real benefit in a match against South Africa. It's obviously going to be、um, a, tough, a tough match up front,、um, and they're two proven characters that have that played and performed very well for Japan.、Uh, Jamie Elliott from Radio Sport New Zealand.、Uh, have you had to reset this week? I given, guess given. The aim was making the top eight. How have you reset the expectations of the squad heading into a knockout game?、Um, in some ways, we've had to reset.、Um, it was a very physical game against Scotland.、Um, so we had the benefit of playing.、Um, we had a long week. Well, we had a day longer than,、um, than obviously there's a test match tomorrow if we'd, if we'd、um, qualified second. So that was a, a big benefit. What we chose to do was to give、um, the first two and a half days、um, to. Basically, refresh and didn't put too much rugby into the players, if anything at all.、Um, so, the first day was、um, just a lightweight session, the second day was just a walkthrough. So, we didn't really start training until our third day, and I think that we're paid, and that's, that's helped us a hell of a lot.、Um, it's allowed the players to get not over the test match against Scotland, but just to absorb what, what they'd actually they'd achieved.、Um, but by the time we went to work, I think it was on Thursday, they were ready to go again, and, and that's really important, obviously. Andrew Saville, TV1, NZ.、Um, how are you? Good, thank you.、Yep. How intense or how much of a challenge has this week been compared to anything else you've faced in your playing or coaching career?、Um, to be really frank ab about that, the, the players have really taken over.、Um, it's a really good sign as a coach because when you feel a little bit redundant,、um, You know that there's real belief in your team and there's real confidence in the team, and that's, that's what I'm feeling as the head coach、um, with the players. You know, we've, we've grown in the last five to six weeks,、um, we've grown and we've grown mentally,、um, and then with those improvements and those improvements with our confidence, then our game is improving. So、um, the intent is really clear for us.、Uh, what we've got to get right as coaches is to be able to manage、um, you guys sometimes. Um, around expectation and demands on the players, certainly,、um, certainly the fans,、um, and we can do that by performing to our potential and, and playing really good rugby,、um, which we intend to, to do on the weekend.、Um, but、uh, again, the, the players, and well led by、um, Michael and,、um, and, and Lepis and all the other leaders, have really just taken over, and yeah, it feels really good.
um, I see their growth um, by the application off the field. So in our area, in our private spaces, we're um, they're collaborating with each other and um, working together to make sure that they've got the detail of their roles sorted out. Um, every night, what that looks like is you know, the whole team, we've got six or seven computers and there's generally a queue to, to have a look at the footy, um, which is really good, and they're working in twos and threes. Um, and then when we go to training, um, by the time I put my boots on and walk outside, everyone's warmed up and, and basically waiting. So those are the sorts of signs that you see when the preparation's going good and it's well there from within the team. Um, and then the key for us really is, as coaches is to, like it's still two or three days away, we don't play till Sunday night, so just keep a lid on that for a little while and, um, yeah, just keep it real really and just, just get the boys, um, their timing of their preparations so they can explode on Sunday night, not, not Saturday night. Uh, Tom English from BBC. Jamie, how aware are the boys uh, that this is not just a Japan story now, this is a story that's kind of gripped the, the sporting world? Oh, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Um, obviously, our boys, our Japanese, our Japanese players, um, don't speak English, or the, the majority of them don't. They certainly don't read English. So I'm sure um, a lot of it is booming through the Japanese media and their family and friends, and certainly um, the people around that's closest to them. But internationally, I, I'm, I'm sure it's going over their heads, uh, which is a little bit funny. And from my perspective, um, I think it's for the better. <laughs> あ、それがあの、逆にえ、うまく作用すると思います。Jamie, uh, you mentioned um, Lapis uh, as one of your leaders. Uh, is this a reason why he could adapt so quickly to Japanese rugby and what is he bringing to you as a leader? Um, well, so Lapis has been here over three years and he's played company rugby um, and he's played a played to a really high level back in, in South Africa before his family, him and his wife, decided to make a big um, a big, a big move, which professional rugby players do, and, and to move to Japan. Um, it's, and the reason I, I believe he, he's made a, um, a really fast transition into Japanese rugby is because he's a quality man. Um, he's very respectful. Um, he's very intelligent. Um, Mentally, he's one of the toughest players I've uh, I've coached, and I've coached some really good rugby players in the last sort of 20 years. Um, yeah, I think those are the, the three key qualities that come to my mind. Um, and why I didn't hesitate um, to promote him to captain when we needed to get Michael's rugby right. Um, so now we've got a bit of a double prong there with our leadership and um, our young number eight, Jimeno, is... Um, I mean, leadership-wise, he doesn't have the responsibility, but he's, he's playing good footy. So the, the loose four trio is complementing each other and, and certainly helping the team um, perform. Um, so for me personally, um, as an ex-old rugby player, um, South Africa is um, the team that I respected the most as a player. Um, and that's because of the close rivalry over the many years between New Zealand and South Africa test matches in the past. Something that we got brought up as, as kids, um, learning, understanding about that rivalry and then getting an opportunity to play for the All Blacks on a couple of times, um, I don't know how many times, three or four times to play South Africa was um, was always an awesome occasion. Um, on top of that, um, you, you know what you're always going to get when you play South Africa and... and those are the sorts of messages that we've been um, telling the players. We know, we know we're going to get a really physical match. Um, the physical is a wee bit different to 20 years ago. Um, it's fast and physical now. Um, years ago it was slightly different. There was um, a lot of off-the-ball stuff going on and we gave as much as we got, but it was always a really respectful test match at the end. And what I mean by that is um, when the rugby was finished and all done and dusted, then... It was just good men playing rugby against each other in a really um, in a really tough test match. The rehearsal that you allude to in September, well, I'm calling it a rehearsal because um, in that match, it was a warm-up game. We were a warm-up game for South Africa, and here we find ourselves now in a um, in a unique position. So we, well, I have um, now renamed the September test match as a warm-up for South Africa and a rehearsal for us, and I think that's something that... Um, no other and no other team in the World Cup in the quarterfinals has had, and I think that's that's going to be a benefit for us. Uh, Jamie Clay from Radio New Zealand. 
Um, this team obviously had a, a very famous win over South Africa in the 2015 tournament. Have you or will you draw on that this week or are you more focused on what the team's done over the course of this tournament? Um, no, no, we won't. We won't be drawing on that at all. In, fa in fact, I've been trying to forget about it for the last four years since I've come here. That's generally what everyone sort of alludes to and, and talks about. Um, but we're a different team, different players. Um, yes, we've got some same players in there, um, but I um, that was an amazing achievement for the last World Cup, and um, we're sort of working on our own things. So no, I won't be alluding on to that. Uh, um, just just finally, what. What is clear is, is what South Africa are going to do. Um, it's clear because of their selection of opting to, s to select six extra forwards on the bench, which is, it's not unique, we've done that before as well, but it, it shows a clear sign that they um, physically, they are going to approach the match um, using their forwards and being very direct and being very physical. The consistency of their game around giving the opposition the ball and using their defence and their big forwards to um, to pressure is... is clear sign of the intent and, and I guess that's what we're pre pre preparing for all week. Um, what, what's not so clear is what we're going to do. Um, and that's what I'm looking forward to. えー、そして、えー、一つ明らかなことは南アフリカは何をしてくるかということです、それはもうセレクションを見たら分かります、えー、控えに、えー、6人のフォワードを入れているということで、えー、それは、えー、南アフリカからしたら、えー、全く珍しいことではないんですけれども、えー、彼らはフィジカルでダイレクトな、えー、アプローチでこう仕掛けてくるというのが、えー、分かります、そして相手にボールを渡して、そして、えー、フォワードのディフェンスで相手を潰して、えー、そこから勝機を見てくるというふうなことがあるんですけれども、我々はそれに対して、えー、しっかりと、えー、準備をしてきました。えー、明確でないことは我々が相手に何をするかです。えー、それが本当に、えー、この試合で楽しみだと思います。はい、えー、以上以上となります。どうもありがとうございました。It's over. Time over. Thank you very much.